Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm Zach Kennedy with Gila Real Estate Life, and here with the founder, Jenny Williams. Hey. Hey, Zach. Thank you for being here. So we are getting so many questions in from agents all around the country, yes. and so we wanted to direct them to the best in the business, and that is you. So, Sweet. So what are you hearing lately in the business? We're in now the middle of May 2023. There is a market shift. We've got some agents that are still crushing it. Mm -hmm. Some agents that are having to make adjustments to their business. What are you telling them? So actually what we're seeing right now is not a crash in the market. It is simply normalizing. It's adjusting. And first off, we have to be completely grateful about what's going on so that we can adapt um, because the fear will just paralyze everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, anytime that there's a shift, what you're going to see is um, emerging two markets, right? The, the, the tell of two markets. You've yeah. got people over here that are closing eight, nine transactions a month. Um, and then you've got people with one pending transaction in May. And April and May, historically, are our best closing months. Right. So um, that's what has a lot of people scared and fearful. And uh, I actually think... A lot of fear has been driven from our loan officers. How so? Like, I love you dearly. You know I love you. <laughs> but I feel like um, they don't have the refinances. Okay. And right. so they're grasping for um, as many uh, agent referrals as they can get. Right. And um, a lot of the stuff that they're churning up, I spoke to one loan officer the other day and he said he's had 150 denials in the past like three months because such terrible credit. Yeah. Um, I actually saw car loan delinquencies are up, um, higher than the GFC levels from 08, 09. Okay. So let's put that in perspective, right? Yeah. So um, car uh, financing, car prices went through the roof. Can't confirm. Sounds like real estate, right? <laughs> and uh, so with that being said, all those delinquencies, mm -hmm. because people start, you know, hoarding their funds. Yep. Um, <laughs> We're going to see a lot of repo man on every corner. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, the interest rates did the same. You know, yeah. I bought a car in 2021 at a 2% interest rate. Right. So I'm sure a lot of people took advantage of that. But now as groceries are getting more expensive, as your energy bills are getting more expensive, all your everyday things, it's, it's very similar to what the real estate market right. is doing. But are you seeing much it, well it's market to market right so those huge it can be market to market yeah but i think everybody's adjusting right um i don't think that we can say wow we're booming over here yeah. in this part of the country right now i think that um in fact i feel like different parts of the country are probably um hurting more than others yeah. Um, and but everybody is adjusting and normalizing, stabilizing. Um, so the difference I feel like um, on who is closing the mess out of everything in a month has been those people who started in November saying, I'm taking my business seriously. What do I need to do? I need to get in massive action. In fact, um, we talked to Jared Fagan. Um, mm -hmm. He's one of our uh, business partners in Atlanta. And he works actually two states. I mean, he's amazing. <laughs> he just sent me a referral. <laughs> All right. I love that guy. I know. I need to. Um, he's just such a good guy, but he's such a hard worker. And he told me the other yeah. day, he said, Jenny, I, I hear people. I see the fear. I understand it, but I'm busier than I've ever been. Mm -hmm. And I said, what, what do you, why do you think that is? And he said, because in November, I picked up my phone. <laughs> he said, I just started calling everybody in it. Mm-hmm. Just, hey, how you doing? How's the year going? You know, um, what are your plans for next year? Nothing necessarily about real estate. He just really reached out and had so many conversations. And in those conversations, man, buddy, so glad you called. You know, I have actually rented out that house that you sold me. I've been living, you know, in Maryland for XYZ time, and I need to sell that rental house. Right. I, great. Perfect timing. And from that, you know, um, more business keeps getting spurred on. So um, I think the same thing for Sabrina Rose, you know, in October, November, she was like, 
I, I'm, I'm tired of playing small. Yeah. I'm leveling up, and um, this is how I'm going to do it. And she uses um, my six-figure day. It's our productivity tool that I came up with years ago. And she's like, I'm going to be in massive action every single day. Um, now, she's tired because she's been closing eight and nine transactions a month. Mm-hmm. Um so uh, don't get me wrong, that doesn't come with all your problems being solved. It just comes with a new set of challenges. Um, so she's been focusing now on still getting her productivity in, but um, a lot of self-care and trying to keep those boundaries where she could have some time off. So you know when I get excited, I start talking <laughs> fast. <laughs> so let's talk about that. How do you, how do you help a, maybe a newer agent or just maybe an agent that doesn't have you know, three or four pendings right now. How do you get them to change their mindset where I can't have commission breath, I just want right. to reach out to people and touch base with them? Because life happens, you may, may, may not plan to move, right. but life happens. Well, it does, and let's just be for real. I mean, we all need a paycheck. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, like you said, everything's going up right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't even go to the grocery store without, like I stopped by there yesterday she doesn't go to the grocery store. Well, I did stop by yesterday. <laughs> um, and, I mean, seriously, dog food's $25. So, I mean, for my dog to eat for a couple of days, it's $25. Wow. I mean, that's huge. Trigger's that's a big boy. He, he's not. He's little. <laughs> he's not a lap dog, but <laughs> he, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, Gas. We're burning I mean, the roads up. Yeah. So, you know, I had been burning the roads up a pretty good bit. But um, I just got, like, three bags, and it was $118. I mean, mm-hmm. how sustainable is that? Right. Um, for a household, even when you did get low interest rates um, a couple of years ago on your house, I mean, you're going to stay put. I mean, you're going to start calculating your payments. So then we're left with the only people that are going to sell are going to the people who really have to. Mm-hmm. And that's the beauty of it. And no, no matter what market you're in, people are always needing to buy and they're always going to need to sell. Right. Um, so it's it's how do we show up and provide the most value to those people and uh, letting them know, you know, who we are and what type of value we do provide so that they can hire us and refer us. Right. <laughs> so brand new agent, right? You asked the question. That, um so believing and knowing that sales are going to happen constantly as a brand new agent. Yeah, but I need a check now. Like, exactly. I... You need a check right this minute. You need it now. So the best place for you to find it are by people you already know. Yeah. Now you can, you're probably not going to have any money if you're a brand new agent because you've been writing checks to the state. You've been writing checks to the board of realtors. You've been writing checks to your company wherever you join for e and insurance for whatever. You've been writing a lot of checks. Um, so I get it. You probably don't have any left to say, I I can't even buy lead sources or I can't even do this Facebook ad um, or I can't, you know, and and, and that may even make you frustrated (laughs) because all those people are going to say, I didn't click on that. (laughs) Tell me about it. Or Darth Vader at (laughs) gmail.com is is a really good one. Love that. (laughs) I've gotten more questions this past week. And I want to say this. It's okay to have that anxiety. We're all going to have that anxiety. Um, And immediately we're going to have that thought of, oh my God, nobody's going to ever buy another house again. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Because uh, especially if you have the news on. So I will say if you're brand new, if if you're (laughs) at all (laughs) days in this business, turn the news off completely and stop buying into that mess. Um, that is just bad news mongering and um, that sells headlines and just get away from that completely. Otherwise, you're going to buy into it and you're going to believe it and it's crap. Um, and then someone else is going to be taking all the, the leads that are available and they're going to be soaring and um, excelling and you're going to be over here going, what happened to me? Now I've got to go find a job. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what I don't want to happen. You ha- you chose this reason. You chose this business for a reason. Um, passionate about it for you know for some uh, reason. You wanted to come in and serve buyers and sellers. And uh, I want to make sure you have all those tools to make that happen. So the very first thing that you need to do is reach out to the people who know, love, and trust you already, because somebody's going to know somebody. And do not be afraid to say. I need my very first one. 
who's going to be my first? <laughs> and uh, uh, you'll be surprised. People will raise their hand to say, I know you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be, uh, I want to go down in your career as the very first sale. Yeah. So I had that happen to me um, in mind like 26 sure. years ago. Yeah. Tell us that story. So uh, the very first thing I did, I came from casino marketing and, mm. and you know this, I bore Zach with this stuff, but um, sent out black and white postcards because I couldn't afford color. <laughs> 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 How many postcards did you send out? Oh, um, and this was just your hey, I'm in real estate now, call me. Yes, and it was oh my god, y'all, it was such the bad realtor look. I mean, I was 25, my face was super full because I was pregnant. And uh, have you ever seen me wear a scarf? No, <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Okay, do you I was own like, a scarf? <laughs> this is the realtor look. <laughs> So was, We're gonna have to dig that. I, I know you will. <laughs> so it's somewhere. Um, so yeah, I, I had that, and uh, it was black and white on one side, and the other side, it just talked about like you know uh, how I was passionate about um, marketing, and I was going to be able to use those skills to market properties. Yeah, um, and that's what you know I've learned in college, and I learned in the casinos, mm -hmm. and um, I could easily adapt that into. Uh, real estate and just ask for people to really reach out and help. And so one of my mom's friends from high school, he called me up and he was like, I want to be your very first. My dad passed away and his house has been vacant and I just really didn't want to face going through it. Right. And um, I said, well, okay, <laughs> I don't even know what to do, but I'm going to do this. And he had it cleaned up. Luckily, I didn't have to do a whole lot like going So this was a and, listing. So your mm -hmm. first deal yeah. was a listing. Wow. First one was a listing, but this is the funny part. Um, and so, you know, I'm like, uh, let me also set the stage. It was like 89000 <laughs> Super nice house, actually. I know, mine was 26. <laughs> oh, there so you go. <laughs> that's luxury. <laughs> oh, so I actually had a yard sale there. And as part of your. Yeah. As the marketing. The, the open house yard sale yeah. concept? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So, I mean, brand spanking new, not even thinking that was probably a really good idea. Um, and I just brought a bunch of my stuff over <laughs> and asked some other people if they wanted to bring things over. And we tagged it. And so, from that, the buyer walked up and said, well, I want to buy it. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, and you immediately start thinking back to school about agency, like, oh my God, do I say the wrong thing? I mean, I, I can't ask them what they want to offer. Like, I can't work against my seller. <laughs> so my dad walked across the room. He was my broker, and he picked up a pen, um, and he was like, how much? And he just wrote in the asking price and wrote the rest of it up, and we ended up closing on it. But <laughs> Wow. I'm going to take away. So hoarder clients. Really, it's the yard sale open house yeah. concept. Wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> so you just asked for the business is yeah. really, that's what happened. Yeah, I did. And, um, you know, he wanted to be the first one to support somebody I've known since the day I was born. Mm -hmm. um, and a uh, really special person in my life. And so you've got that special person, too, who wants to help you. But um, a lot of times, you know, brand new agents will uh, be scared to reach out to people they know because they don't know anything. Sure. <laughs> They're like, sure. well, they know I don't know anything. <laughs> but it's yeah. okay. It's actually better because they know you don't know. And they're going to love and support you no matter what. And you have to build that trust by saying, I've got people surrounding me who do know what they're doing. And um, I've got a mentor um, or I've got mentors or I've got a business partner or a team leader. I've got a broker that's amazing that I can reach out to and get the answers for us. Um, and that's okay. It's completely okay to say, I don't know is an answer. Um, I, I got asked a question yesterday from one of my clients I've been helping for two years. And she asked me a question. I'm like, I don't know. But I'm going to find out. <laughs> yeah. The only times I've really gotten in trouble is when I acted like I knew the answer, but I really didn't know the answer. When there's no reason to do that. Right. You know, if any real estate agent should feel like they have a support system around them. Yeah. Five, ten people on speed dial right. that they can call. So if you don't have that, um, find it. Because this is, a, this is the time you need it. 
Right. And so it's such a challenge to get started really in any market because building that momentum and you're seeing everyone else have closings and you don't know when it's going to happen or when it's going to come for you. Um, and you just don't know you're staring at a blank, you know, screen on a laptop or uh, your phone or um, you really don't know what to do. Uh, so I, I completely understand that. Um, so I came up with something called uh, the Best Trained Agent Academy, and it's time to, to really launch that. So you don't really have to guess what to, to do next. Um, it's all there in front of you. Uh, and it really is that confidence builder because, um, you know, we just ended doing, uh, ended uh, beyond the basics the other mm -hmm. day we had a two day of that and man, right. I crammed a three day into two yeah. um so it was a lot of information but you know real estate training is one of those very sad things knowledge based training is a sad thing um most of us learn by making ginormous mistakes and then going what yeah. I didn't know that <laughs> In fact, somebody just called a minute ago and said uh, uh, that the contract states X, Y, Z. And I said, did the contract change? I mean, because... You teach that. Yeah, I was like, I, not that any contract I have worked on, it, it clearly states calendar days. Yeah. Just because you've been in the business a long time doesn't yeah. mean there aren't some gaps there. Right. And, uh, you know, you really have to dig in and get that knowledge. And I think, for one, a lot of times when people get their license, you know, they have other jobs. Mm -hmm. And most of the training is going to be during the day. That's just how it works. Um, because nobody works an eight-hour job and then goes, I can't wait to train for two hours um, after that uh, and when, when other people are available. So I think that... That's a challenge if you have another job. Um, you have to be hungrier than anybody if you have another job. You have to say, I want this, like Jerry Fagan, he was yep. one, and I want this, I'm gonna, I, I demand it, I'm going to grab it, I'm gonna show up, and I'm gonna prove to you how much I want it, I'm gonna prove to myself how much I want it. Um, you have to be hungrier than most um, if you have another job in this business. Otherwise, you're never gonna learn what you need to learn and uh, you can watch a ton of videos like one of my brand new agents um, who is in Oxford she is so adorable if she can't reach me she's like I was just watching YouTube on what to say <laughs> <laughs> like, yes that's how you have to be you have to be that eager person so whenever I call back I'm like well just say this this and this and she's she's perfect like she hasn't messed up at all like all of her scripting and her wording um and her communication have been fantastic so mm -hmm. yeah lots of resources online and and we really want to centralize that with the best trained agent uh academy so i'm looking forward to this we'll drip out more information we'll have a landing page and information on cost and and you know a breakdown of the curriculum i think that's going to be incredibly useful really because like i've got a deal right now that we've had to get really creative mm -hmm. with how we get this done but you've done so well with it well i think that that is something we're not in the point where it's 2020 2021 where you just stick a sign in the yard and it's under contract people are having to get really creative with not just their financing but really how we market homes mm -hmm. um so I, i'm looking forward to this i know a lot of people um, have been looking for this kind of it's it's like a certification almost. Yeah. I mean, it's like... No, you're, you're going to graduate from it. Right. Um, and I'm not going to let you graduate until I know you can do a net sheet mm -hmm. without looking at fee sheets, um, until uh, you know how to fill out a contract, until you know what the contract says. Now, with that being said, every Board of Realtors uses a different um, uh, contract. Okay. So it, some of it's going to be uh, generalized, um, so you'll know. And every state has different... Um, uh, rules and laws and I mean for us we're in a Bobby where you know caveat emptor state mm -hmm. um, so that's a lot different from all the other states that are moving to Alabama <laughs> yeah lots of fun situations you can get into there right we completely are, blows people's minds 
It really that, does. That come from a disclosure state. I uh, know. And they'll be like, well, where's the disclosure that the seller provides? Well, we don't have that. Right. <laughs> but actually, it makes uh, it a better experience for the buyer because the buyer does their due diligence to figure out if they want this and they don't trust something mm-hmm. that's just written on a piece of paper and y'all sellers forget. So um, it can be a really good thing. I know that I've worked in a disclosure state and I worked in a caveat mTOR. I prefer a caveat mTOR. Yeah. So, Best Trained Agent Academy, we've got some more trainings coming mm-hmm. down the pipe. Do we want to talk about these now, or do we want to tease them a little bit, or are those, those <laughs> reserved just for our people, or what? So, um, we've got a couple things coming up that you can take advantage of, and right now where you do not want to skimp is on your education. Mm-hmm. Now is the time for you to skyrocket in knowledge. I mean, get your designations. Show up in a classroom. If you have nothing going on because you're not um, doing my six-figure day and you're you're not out there prospecting and chasing leads then um, and attracting leads also, then get your behind into a class because this is where you're going to be able to say my expertise and that confidence, right, is going to rise up over all the other people that will end up quitting this business. Um, I think I saw a statistic, by the way, this is just like a side note. What did, what did, um, was posted in our group the other day that just in our MLS alone? Yeah. How many total are we looking at in our MLS? 3,000, 4,000? No, we have five. Five. So we have about 5,000 in our MLS, greater Alabama, um, in Birmingham, Mm -hmm. if you're not familiar. Yeah. So, uh, Taylor Jackson, who's a great agent with us, said that, about 850 agents out of that 5,000 has have closed four or more transactions this year, which is mind blowing. 850 out of 5,000 have closed four or more transactions this year. I mean, that is crazy. It is crazy. And um, I may actually show up on that because I've been earning referral fees behind the scenes. Let's go. Um, <laughs> But uh, I made an active decision, though, not to actively um, uh, prospect this year. Um, so still getting paid behind the scenes, but it's not. I'm not showing up on any of those. But how can you eat right. if you're only closing one a quarter? Like, seriously, how can you eat? You've got to be closing million-dollar properties. Um, uh, and some, some are. Um, uh, because there are a lot of expensive houses, but those are going to come from a whole lot of another challenge. Those, those of we're, we're seeing the days on market increase for sure on those. Yeah. I mean, it's when that is the case, those are people that are people of influence. Those, those 850 people are, like you said, the people that have done the work. Um, if you are looking to become a person of influence yourself, we have an amazing, mastermind coming up uh, in August, on mm-hmm. August the 23rd. Can you tell us a little bit about this event? Yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> it is, um, and I really encourage you to get your ticket to come to that because, so I've been doing masterminds for years, and the past four years, I just didn't do it because I jumped back into sales, and um, when Every single year I did these events. Um, it was the most exciting event um, of the year um, that everybody uh, that is into real estate coaching and sales coaching um, loved because I just seek out the best speakers to come and not only motivate, but extremely educate. Like you leave with amazing, like you'll see people taking pages and pages and pages of notes. So um, our headlining speaker is Coach Michael Burt, and uh, he just came out with his 17th book called Flip the Switch, and it's all about um, uh, just turning on, activating that prey drive, which is that hunger to chase, right? It just like gets you super excited to get out there and chase that business and create that business you want, but you got to flip your switch and motivate yourself every single day, and some days, even me today, like my flip was hanging down. <laughs> It was low. <laughs> and uh, he is going to teach us how to turn it on and keep it on every single day. Um, and one of the things, I watched Air last night. Have you seen it yet? No. What is that? The movie with uh, about Michael Jordan and Nike. Oh, was it good? So good. So good if y'all haven't seen it. Well, so he, you know, in the book... Coach Burke talks about how Michael Jordan creates these stories in his head. Yeah. Like he creates an enemy and they want to see me fail and I'm not going to fail. And <laughs> I love this because like, you know, everybody praises Michael Jordan, even his greatest 
competition. Right. <laughs> but he creates the stories himself that keep him at um, high performance, that keep him at peak performance and wanting to go out there and practice every single day. Um, uh, so he talks about that and how you can do that too um, based on your personality and what fits you. But one of my favorite things that I love about Coach Burt is he has a book called Person of Interest. And um, I listen to it all the time on Audible. And it's him actually reading it. And of course, I love Coach's accent from Tennessee. <laughs> Feels right at home. It's so good. And he, it's super simple too. It's not like this elaborate, you know, thousand page book, but he talks about like what you can do to stand out, what you can do specifically, um, uh, what I feel a market that is just craving you to be a person of interest. Um, so he's going to combine those two at Mastermind. And just that alone is going to really give you an opportunity to better yourself and to grow. Um, give you some fresh ideas, but then you've got somebody like Darren James, who is like an, what an eight-time icon from mm -hmm. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He runs a team. I mean, the dude just gives you, hey, look at this system, download it, go get leads from it tomorrow. It's free. Hey, check this out. I use this to take care of my clients. I've sold 20 houses on this. I mean, he is Mr. Nugget after Nugget after Nugget, and not like, you know, I get super... I don't know, frustrated. Um, I'm kind of high strung. <laughs> and I'll just like, no. <laughs> I'll be like, seriously, I sat through that for like 15 minutes. I got nothing out of that. Right. Like it pisses me off and I'm sorry. I just passionate people use passionate language. But I'll be like, you didn't give me all, all you did was say, you just really got to, well, you know. Like my dad says, you just got to get, get out, out there, there baby. baby. So I went to this one training and literally three speakers said, I mean, you know, you just got to get out there. And then Darren gets on stage and he's like, hey, um, this helps with client nurturing. This helps with bringing leads in on your own listings. Have you done this to promote your listings? Because, wow, that is a game changer. Um, I make sure that I use Uber Eats as one of mine. And you know what? I use Uber Eats, too, as one of my systems in my business because it's all about taking care of that person mm -hmm. um, as a person, not as a buyer or a seller. Um, and he just gives so many great things that you'll be able to implement immediately. And you won't be able to keep up with um, how many nuggets that he gives you. But then Tim Davis, right, comes on in and uh, had a meeting with this uh, this morning with an agent who just joined us. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said that she had gotten like three, well, like three or four nuggets from Tim Davis. He was in Birmingham a couple of months ago. And she's been implementing them, and she was like, that training just blew me away. Yeah, He's coming, and it's going to be even better. So, And then I've got some new stuff that I'm going to be sharing as well that I hope that you'll like. So it's just, a, I mean, a great day. And you actually get Coach's book to flip the switch. So that is um, behammastermind.com. Um, uh, make a day of it just plan to be here in Birmingham I don't even care where you're from fly in because we have people flying in we've got people driving in um, we want you to be here and want to share that day of growth with you one of the things that coach says that really um, inspires people or uh, helps you activate that prey drive can be exposure and that's when my son's 24 years old and he's in this business with us. And I, he, he was like, what do you think my prey drive? What do you think activates my prey drive? <laughs> and I said, hands down, it's exposure. And that means being in a room where other people are just doing these yes. just big things. And Jacob will come home after that and go, I'm doing this. <laughs> if he can do it, I can do it. And that's, you know, one of the things that I love. Now, sometimes that might deactivate your prey drive if that's something that doesn't work for your personality. But, you know, environment um, is one of those things. Uh, competition. Um, uh, you'll be able to have it all that day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hard skills and soft skills. Yeah, it you is. Know, a coach, as somebody that grew up playing sports all through college, I, I don't know what it is about Coach Burt, but everything he says, like I'm just a sponge for it. And um, this is a guy that is he spoke at 10x with Cardone. I mean, this guy's been on huge stages. Yes, he has. And he's going to be uh, there with us on August 23rd 
um, Darren, I mean, you don't get to the level that Darren James has gotten to without those systems. Right. I think that's something a lot of agents leave behind. I mean, even agents, you know, in our in our group that have just come out of the gates on fire, mm-hmm. having to say, okay, I went a little too high, too fast. I need right. systems in place, yeah. not not just to keep my sanity, but to stay consistent in my career because you don't want to be doing all this. I think what Darren. Uh, does is is give you those systems that are all really affordable as well. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing um, is that it's not super expensive to take care of your past clients or even your current clients or get more business. There are systems in place for you to do that. Um, Tim packed out the stardom. Right, he did. Packed it out. So I I, I didn't get a chance to go to that. Oh, I was there. So I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the jacket. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the jacket for me, personal brand. Splatter branding. paint. Yeah, I mean a, a you know mortgage guy with a great personality. So. Yeah, he does. So funny. Oh my gosh, and uh, just a great lineup that day. So I'm super excited for you to be able to meet um, everybody. Thanks to Atlantic Bay for being our headline sponsor. Also, sure. shout out Atlantic Bay. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I don't care if you are brand new in your business. Um, scrounge up, you know, ask, get out on the uh, corner of the sidewalk and <laughs> put a sign up and get some donations together for you to be able to go to that. You got plenty of time. It's August 23rd. Um, but even if you are crushing 100, 110 transactions a year, it would be really good for you because you're going to grow um, uh, in that environment for sure that day. Yeah. So. And go to behammastermind.com um, to get your early bird ticket. Save, oh, yeah. We yeah. Got, uh, we've got we got discount pricing like right now. Yes. So discount pricing now. So it's 149 to get in general admission, 249 for VIP. Honestly, the VIP is what you can't turn down. I mean, you, you get to meet with all of our speakers. You get a signed book by Coach Burt. You get priority seating in the front row. Um, we, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff that we're doing for, for the VIP members. And, and it's just funny you said that because I was watching uh, one of Coach's videos just last night. And it's, you know, it's people say like, well, I, I need the money to, to pay for something like this. But really what you're paying for is the skill. Right. You know, and you may not have that skill right now, but now is the time to become that person of interest. As we just said, 850 people in our MLS have, it's only 850 have closed four or more. There's gonna be a lot of opportunity in the next mm-hmm. couple of years for agents. You building your brand, um, you you capturing the audience and then growing it in to out with your business. This is the time to do that because five years from now, there's no telling you know where your business could be. So behammastermind.com get your tickets early bird uh pricing ends june the 5th yeah so you only have like 16 days i think yeah no um but we've got some other stuff too like um if you're like super serious and you're ready to just jump in and uh you want you're craving that six figure um goal because you told yourself whenever you got your real estate license that that was your minimum then um six figure intensity starts on june 8th um, you can jump in. That's four sessions with us. Um, we would love to have you, but we want you to be serious about it. Um, it is um, $1,000 for you to, to jump in that with us, and it will make a huge difference because hundreds of agents have made multiple six-figure transformations. That's just not uh, blow in height. That's probably really under even estimating it. So, um, hop in that, that starts June 8th. June is packed y'all. June is packed. Um, I took some downtime and I said, all right, you know, people are, I built my business in 2008, 2009, get a real estate life officially launched in May of 2009 because it was the crash. People were hurting. I don't want you to hurt. And uh, um, we started in the down times and I'm going to get you through it. Um, now, I can't do it uh, one-sided. I have to have your participant. I, you've got to be involved in your own business and make a difference. Um, you have to hold yourself accountable too. Um, uh, but I'm ready to show up for you. Um, especially in June, got a bunch of stuff going. Um, we've got um, another uh, coaching platform that we're doing called Path to Capping. Um, if you're on a 100% uh, um, 
a compensation plan like uh, we are at eXp Realty, then uh, I'm going to show you exactly what needs to happen uh, to, to get to that capping to get to 100%. Um, one of our agents just capped today. Let's yes. go, Joy. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, she's been um, at, a, at a company where actually her compensation plan was actually paying less in. Um, so uh, super excited now. We've got her to 100%. Now it's time to get her into the next level um, for her to level up, and that is Path to Icon. So um, all of these things will be going on in June. So if, you, if you're interested, just reach out. But, you know, we have a lot of free stuff that um, is going to be playing on this Get a Real Estate Life um, channel here um, on Facebook. Um, so we haven't been putting a whole lot of content out there. It's because we've been slinging some real estate, like yep. some serious real estate. And uh, it was just hard for me to do all of it together. Um, but we're back. We're back. That's right. <laughs> so thanks for joining us on uh, a live. Be looking out for more classes. Y'all do not be surprised if I do two and three classes in a day on some days. Just grab what you can. Go back and watch the recording on um, what you can. But um, I'm urging you to, to make sure you just dive in and get those nuggets for your business. Yeah. Shout out Jay Williams for the new podcast Yay. studio going on. We'll, we'll do a video tour. This guy's done a great job. So we're going to cut it off there. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.